Well, we are very honored to have one of our members tell us about branding today. And Lori Rinker helps businesses grow by clarifying and strengthening brands and the strategies behind them. She also focuses on driving profitability and inspiring community impact. She has over 30 years of experience. I don't know how she can do that because she's only 39. She has done 80 plus strategic branding and marketing projects, has over 100 plus clients, solopreneurs to Fortune 500, and she's increased revenues in the millions. And with that, we'll turn it over to Miss Lori Rinker. You're still on mute, Lori. All right, okay, I'm gonna share my screen and then get you the PowerPoint. And here we go, can everybody see that? We're good? All right, It's great. working. Well, hello everyone and um, nice to meet all you new people and it's great to see everybody else. We're gonna talk a little bit about hacks on rebranding. Um, Bacon asked me to come and talk about a rebrand that I did on myself. Uh, within the last couple of years and thought it would be helpful if I could share what happened with me and, and different points from there. Um, so we've all been talking about this. It's mayhem. 2020 has been tough. We talked about who put in the word pivot. We've all been looking at ways, what are we going to do? Our clients are changing, the values are changing, people are changing, business is changing. Oh my gosh, I have to change. I have to look for new markets, new places, new customers. What am I going to do? Well, let's talk about your brand. And I know so many of you know about branding. And for those who are not familiar with it, this may be helpful. But a brand is a living entity. And it's a, pro and it's a product of a thousand small gestures that you make from your service to the phone calls, to those handshakes, to the Zoom calls. But your brand lives in the hearts and minds of the consumer. My brand right now is living in your hearts and your minds. And branding is a strategy in the management of your brand, which is really where I focus because I believe that is the wizard behind the curtain. Now, the good news about rebrands is that they work and pay off financially. The Nielsen company, a big research company in the advertising world says that they typically achieve anywhere from 15 to 25% growth. So let's talk about some of the primary hacks I'd like to share. First of all, is know the impact that brand and your efforts on branding have on your business. It's huge. And when you think about your brand or rebranding, be very clear about your whys, your goals, your expectations. You know, expectations can kill the cat. Build on the brand equity that you've created. Don't think you have to throw out the baby with the bathwater. Everything that you've done in your life and your career is part of your brand. Build on it, enhance it, make it work for you, make it part of your story. And like Cynthia, strategy, strategy, strategy. Use a written, not the strategy in your head, use the written brand strategy. Because when we write it down, we see things quite differently. So I'm going to tell you a story about my brand. So I've been in business as a branding and marketing consultant for about 20 years. My husband came up with this name, Brand Marketing Services, and it really applied for my business. So I used it for about 20 years. Not really happy with it, but oh, well, I'm busy, right? But as my strategy was evolving, my business was evolving, I kept coming up with different taglines I used to use making the difference. And then I used brands that deliver. Um, and I realized that the shoemaker has no shoes. My brand wasn't where I wanted to be. So I wanted a new name, a new look and feel. And I wanted to apply my strategy to myself. So again, strategy is really where the magic happens. It's just not in the logo and the beautiful pictures. It's the man behind the curtain, the girl behind the curtain that comes up with the visuals and the colors and the look and the feel. So the process is much like any kind of strategy, we go within and we take a look at our GPS, 
our purpose, our vision, our mission, our objectives, our goals, our SWOT analysis, our products that we sell, um, the blocks that we have. We go into a deep internal discovery, the attributes that you offer, your, your brand personality. Then we also take a look at what's out there, the industry, the niche that you're in. Um, who is your competition? That's critical in the branding space. And then we take a look at the target audience, the universe that's out there and who we've been talking to. And then we move to the branding decisions. Who's our target by priority? How are we gonna position ourselves against the competition? What niche are we all gonna own? So we can stand out and be different and be unique. Then we come up with the positioning statement, the internal words, the branding statement, the value proposition, which informs how we're gonna deliver our message out to all the people that wanna hear it. They're dying to hear it. So the strategy informs the visual, the brand ID, the name, the tagline, the logo, the colors, the color palette, the look and feel, the tone, the messaging content, and everything, absolutely everything it has to do with the marketing, which is the umbrella. And within it, you have your sales, your social media, PR, everything out from there. So let's go where after I worked with my, my creative team, they actually put my strategy process on me. They were the objectivity I needed because it's very difficult to do branding for yourself on yourself. You need other people to say, uh, I don't think so. I think this is really the truth of you because remember, they're holding my brand in their hearts and minds not me. So they asked me, I said, Lori, send me some pictures of things that really turn you on that you think reflect your brand personality. So after lots of things back and forth, I turned around and I looked at my fireplace, which was teal and these beautiful browns. And I have this great ballet and procession over it that really makes me happy when I see it. The colors are warm, grounded, inviting, but inspiring. So they said, that's it. Those are your brand colors and they came up with a color palette for me. Then what we did is we took all of that in my brand and my target audience and they came up, what you see down below is a stylescape. These are pictures of my clients in the place with things that they like to do. These are the kind of pictures that are going to attract them when I roll out my website and all my marketing materials. Then my name. Well, I've been using brands that deliver as a tagline and I loved it because it told me two things. I'm there to help people deliver on their bottom line. You can't help people if you're not making money and you can make money and help people at the same time. So this is two ways, deliver on the bottom line and deliver back to your community and have impact on the world. And it's right on strategy for me. I did my competitive research, went to the USPTO where you find out if anybody else has the name. Uh, we applied the color palette. I got the legal, I trademarked it and we're off. We then took the stylescape, the colors, the strategy, everything that you said, my USP, my positioning statement, we rolled out my website. Um, part of what happened is I also said, if I really believe in conscious capitalism and B-Labs and really giving back, I need to be holding these people up. So I started doing interviews and writing articles. This is a picture of uh, Helen Russell from Equator, fabulous B-Lab example. And I know we talked about B-Labs, a um, couple of bacons ago. And then I also created programs that were probably more available to a smaller business because I work, I've been working with big businesses a lot. All right, so here's the benefits of my rebrand. And in truth, if you look at this, if you're thinking about rebranding, these are the kind of things that you may experience as well. I feel more on purpose than ever. And that's a very powerful feeling. It reflects my brand truths and what I'm all about. It gives me an edge and a point of difference that frankly, I was kind of lost in the sea of the big agencies across the bridge. There's a greater focus on customer needs, it inspired new products, inspired some thought leadership and still is. I have clear and consistent messages because I always go back to my positioning. Who am I and how do I wanna to talk to people? It instilled confidence pride is huge because I have much more confidence going out with a brand um, my clients are more aligned and engaged. And frankly, I got more financially robust engagements. So again, know the impact of your brand and your branding. Be clear on your why, your goals and your expectations. 
and build on all the goodies that you've already done, all the wonderful parts of your life. Bring them together because it's the authentic you, the leadership behind your brand and use a written brand strategy. And here's the truth. If you don't manage your brand, somebody else will, and it will not be pretty. So that's what I have to share with you this morning. And I'd like to make an offer. The first four people that reach out to me, I'd like to offer a half an hour of a complimentary brand review or anything that you need and want to talk about and just get a point of view, an objective point of view on your brand. Um, I think that uh, they've gone ahead and put my uh, information, this information in the chat. And um, there we go. Any questions? Lori, how, long, how yeah. long did it take you to go through that transformation, to go from the, from the start of, I want to rebrand till you had your package put together? Well, that's a really good question because strategy takes a long time and it, it varies with different people, but it took me about four months because when you're working full time and trying to rebrand yourself, it, it can be hard, but it's a, it is a rigorous process and it's worth taking the time to go through it. So I would say about two to three months in a larger business, maybe six months to eight months. Thank you. Lori. Hey. 